This is Scott with Second to No One Canine Life Coaching, and I've got Louie in the back. Get him in a second. Teasing him a little bit, unfortunately. And I'm at a dog park. We're not going to the dog park. I know how he's overstimulated, and I know he has to go to the bathroom first. So we talk about taking care of your dog's needs, making sure they don't rush out. And those of you that get your dogs that are so excited to go to the dog park that they rush in and get all excited, I'm going to show you what you should do, things that will help your dog pay more attention to you and not overwhelm other dogs. So when we get here, people pulling in, and I got dog walkers. Stop. Louie, don't let him out. Thank you, Louie, over here. Stop. Grab the leash. Thank you. Out. Louie. Oh, he smells everything. See, I don't know if you ever do my watch my live, fe my live feeds, but you'll always notice he's always paying attention. Thank you, Louie. Let's go potty. Always take care of their needs. We go off to the side and go potty. I've got, and know your area, Buffalo Paddock. Yeah. Thank you, Louie. Gentle. Oh, look at that. You jumped up and arched down. That is interesting. Gentle, please. Thank you. Louie, left. Thank you. Just because they want to go inside does not mean that is the greatest decision, correct? I know he has to go poo and pee. Like every video I've had, he's always peed for a really long time. See that body language? Tight, tense. Thank you, Louie. See, we can stop and grab a leash. Does not mean he's paying attention to me. This is habits now. This is all habits we've gone through. Thank you. He's being impatient. It's a lot of dogs over there. We might go to the fence. We might not, depending on how we, how well we get this. Walk. Louie. Thank you. Again, I know he has to go potty. Reward for behaviors you want repeated. Walking away, walking with me. Louis, stop. Thank you. What my plan is to do is walk the equivalent of... Okay, so where that red thing is up there. That's almost to the end of the beginning of the dog park. That's our goal. Over here. Thank you. I need to get that leg, that leash out from under behind his leg. Thank you, Louie. All this excitement to grab that treat is not to grab the treat. Thank you. Good. Let's go left. Thank you, Louie. This is why I never go to a dog park with an excited dog. Dogs should be socialized, but not if they're not emotionally ready. Thank you, Louie. Ready? All that excitement, he had to go pee just to go pee. That was necessity. Now he's gonna go pee to go mark and pee on stuff and get some of the stress out. So that's what we're gonna let him do. Oh, and I think he has to go poo and see if he'll recognize he has to go poo. So we're not going back to the park where he thinks he's gonna go. Thank you, Louie. We're just coming up here to go potty. My needs are just as important as his. Thank you, Louie. Again, I reward over here. He's reaching for it, not really grabbing it. See, it wasn't that important. That's important. Louis, turn around, please. Turn around. Thank you. So we'll go further out so we can go to the bathroom. But I only, I don't drag him out of the way. We walk together. That is important. We communicate. Not only am I taking care of his needs, but we're communicating on what, it, on what I would expect him to do. But he's paying attention to the leash. Thank you, Louie. I want him to turn and acknowledge me that we're going to go do something else. Over here. You see, I just dropped the leash. He's not running away. That's because we don't have, we're not focusing on leash pressure. And we're getting him a little bit settled down away, away from the interests of the dogs. See? Five minutes in and he has to go poo. If I was going to let him in and he's so focused on having to go to the bathroom, 
and he's already overstimulated, that's dangerous. We'll see how much different he is after he goes to the bathroom. Again, my goal, there's a red thing up there that I keep walking away from. That's my goal to get there. Not, thank you, Louie. See, the body language is a lot looser. Now he's paying attention. He's not rushing right back to go grab the leash and grab the treat and go back out. You hear something? He's still whining a little bit. Oh, because he can hear dogs barking. Thank you, Louie. But he's staying a lot closer, right? Sorry, I'm picking up poo bag. Picking up poo. We're gonna go back to the truck. Let's go back to the truck. When I usually go to the dog parks, I know my dogs are a lot friendlier than what Louie is and less exciting. I'll walk over to a water fountain if they have it outside. This one does have one, but I know how excited he is with dogs. And because I didn't call him, Thank you, Louie. I still gotta walk back to the truck. Left, Louie. Louie. I was hoping you'd go around. I'm manipulating treats, leash in a poo bag. Thank you, good stop, Louie. Hold on. See, he feels me grab the leash, he thinks it's time to go. Thanks. Appreciate it. Walk. Louie. Thank you. Reward behaviors you want repeated, but don't let him pull. See, he grabbed and ran. This will take time. I am not worried about the time. Oh, see, he didn't even want the treat. All right, thank you, Louie. Good left. Here. Watch where you're going. Buffalo paddock, we can't go that close. So we can always walk around everywhere else. Not really caring. Thank you, Louie. Let's go. Let's go. And now you're going to need water because you're overstimulating yourself. So you definitely can't go see dogs. Thanks. And apparently whining is gonna mean eventually that he's gonna walk away, that we're gonna walk away further. But I'm not gonna pull him out of the way. He whines, looks over, we walk. He could learn that if we whine and he looks over, that he's gonna walk away, so he might just stay there and whine and not pay attention to me. Because remember, dogs will figure out how best to communicate with you. Thank you, Louie. And if they're too busy wanting something else and you're not providing it, then they'll find ways to get what they want. But as long as I can communicate with what I need and want for our safety, like that, not pulling. Thank you, Louie. Walk. Louie, stop. going. You remember? Let's see how he's standing back, not coming next to me. I hear him. Stop. Because he stopped, I can loosen the leash, drop the poop bag, grab the leash off of his leg. He's not running away. Oh, he moved forward. left. Thank you, Louie. And because he's paying attention a little bit longer, I can lure with the treat. Thank you. But see, he's actually trying to run sideways. This is so funny. Thank you. We're going to go get water. But I still communicate with what I want. We're going to go get water so he knows we're going back to the truck. Louie. Thank you. Oops, sorry, Louie. Back to the truck. Dog over there. Let's go get some water, please. Louie. Oops. I see him. Let's go get some water. 
stop. Meow. Thank you. That meant nothing. Louie. Thanks. Louie, stop. Louie. Let's get some water. I know you don't want to, but that's okay. Louie. Up. Louie. Louie. Up. Come on. Up. I'll help you. Hey, Louie. Up. Thank you. Get your water. Stop. Here. And stop. There's water in there. I'm not letting them out because there's a van just pulled up full of dogs. They're excited to go potty. Can we see what's happening? Oh, he's over here with me. Hey, Louie. Thank you, Louie. This is why dog parks are chaotic. This is why you figure out how to help your dog. Bell. Thank you. Thank you, Louie. He's still here. Tail's wagging like crazy. But he's not going crazy. He's not looking at the other one, which is great because he's seeking me out. I almost want to come grab him and rock him out. I know he'll be loud, but they're not coming out. So I'm kind of waiting for the other van to come out, but they're not. So I'm taking mine out. Again, stop. Let's go. Louie, this way. <laughs> Thank you, Louie. Let's go. You didn't drink water. Thank you, Louie. Good boy. See? Now repetition. Louie, left. Good left, Louie. What I can do here as well, instead of a lot of people will try and play ball with their dogs to get the excitement out. He's already overstimulated. I know he's gonna get frustrated if we play. So I know that's what he's gonna do with other dogs. What I'm doing is rolling up my sleeves. See if our play. Louie. Are you frustrated? Are you frustrated? We can run it out together. Together, together, together. My big always talk about that together, huh Louie? Stop. Good boy. Yeah. Alright, I get you. We can run it out, he can get his frustration out on me. Louie, stop. It'll take a minute. Good job. We leave together, always us. Now it's raining, it's starting to rain. He wants the dogs, that's his priority, but my priority is to play. <laughs> Louie, catch. Thank you. Oh crap. Yeah, we're not gonna meet anybody, because now it's raining. Ew, gross. Ew, gross. <coughs> Thank you, Louie. My camera's probably gonna shut off, because now the weather, I broke my case before I broke my phone, which is the point. Thank you, Louie. Checking in. Thank you. The dog walker still hasn't gotten her dogs out. Louie. Thank you, stop. I see him. Thank you. Stop. Paul out of there. Okay, stop. <laughs> Louie left. Good, left. Still listening. Make it fun. But this is anxious. Hi, huh, Louie. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Let's go potty over here. Over here. Thank you. Louie, go potty. 
I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yes, at the same time this is flooding because he's not sure what he's supposed to do. So he keeps walking around looking for stuff. Thank you, Louie. Jumping up for treats. Come on. We're going to go rest. Oh, we got to wait for the truck to go by. Louie. Squat and pee. Good boy. The squat and pee is actually really not a whole lot of thought process. That's in the, a uh, crap. I gotta go potty. That's not a hike your leg and mark or hike your leg because you're thinking you have to go pee. That's a crap. I gotta pee. Thank you. We walk out together. Thanks, Louie. Now he's a little less wound up. Thank you. Go get some water. Thank you, Louie. But look, you can be on my left side without having to pull over there. Thank you, Louie. And I got, I'm just watching for the leash to make sure it doesn't get wrapped around all of his paws. Louie. Ready? Uh, now the dog walker is over at the truck. And my lights are on on my truck. Or maybe that's just a reflection. Thank you, Louie. You need water. See, if I would have gone into the dog park at 20 minutes, it would have been kind of SOL. I've been overstimulated, needing water, needing to poo, needing to pee, already been playing, already wrestling dogs, teasing dogs, and then go, oh crap, I gotta go potty. That's not fair. Oh, Aisha got scared just sitting on my brake lights. I got it, Louie. Thank you. I can see my brake lights are on. And when Aisha gets scared, she goes on my driver's side and lays down. Get your butt! Louie! Thank you. Are you frustrated? Yes, I'm gonna bite you. Yes, I'm gonna kick your ass. Good boy, hey, you want a ball? Oh, I didn't bring one. I had one all day. Thank you. See how he's a little bit calmer? Stop. Notice I'm not putting any leash pressure on. He can put it on, but it doesn't mean anything's gonna happen for me. I was able to stop and drop the leash. The leash is loose, he's not going forward. Come on, Louie, out. Good boy. I can communicate saying out, all the other stuff. My goal now is to get back to the car. Thank you, Louie. Good stop. Taking him fast. We gotta go get water, buddy. Much better. Still a little faster, but not dragging onto the leash. Oh, you almost checked in. Louie. Louie. Thank you. Let's go get some water, buddy. Again, communicate. Ready? Stop. Uh -oh. Come here. Good. Come, Louie. Come on. Louie. I see him. Thank you, Louie. You need water. The other dogs are in a hurry. I don't know if we got to see, but now the latch is open on her truck. Come on. Louie. You see him? If I pull, he's going to get too excited. So I don't. Stop. Are you ready? Louie. The tail wag. Thank you. This way. Louie. Nope. Nothing happening. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you, Louie. He actually paid attention to the leash. You just, I don't know if you're paying attention, but I was trying to see what the collar would do. If I dragged that leash over and made his collar move. We're to safer distance. Thank you, Louie. So I can reward out of the way. Thank you. This way. We'll get water. Get make sure all the basic needs are met. And we'll see what happens. I just want to make a video on how we deal with dog parks. Hold on. Stop. There you 
Are you sure? Thanks. And remember, when your dog's excited to be somewhere, you have to work down from that. Louie, over here. Thank you. Relax. We'll get there, I promise. And we'll get some water. Van's still up. Thank you, Louie. Let's see how he's leaning in. I don't know if you caught that, but his head's able to move. I'm scratching his butt because my hands are filthy. I'm playing in the mud. And... Woo! 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 But his head's moving, which is really what I want. So this is reality. This is our walk. I'm going to give him five minutes. When I load him up, I'm going to pause it for five minutes. Are you sure? Now you see the dogs coming out. And there's a guy walking over there. Does he have a dog? Nope. No dog. Good. Over here. Thank you. Louie. Thank you. Good boy. A little settled. Did I miss? Good. Walk. <coughs> Thank you, Louie. Louie. He knows there's a dog that just walked by his car. He might miss it. Look at the ears flapping. Look at the tips of the ears flapping. I could rush to the car. Out. Thank you, Louie. Ready? Louie. Up. Louie. Up. Up, 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 up. I got gotcha. you. Oh, boy. Okay, go get some water. Thank you. She's not, she's the only shorter than Leland. Okay, now I'm going to pause it until we come back. All right, we're continuing on, but I'm bringing Aisha out. I'm an idiot. While that rain happened, I left my sunroof down, or open, and I got my center console all wet. That's why Aisha was leaning on my brake pedal. It's because she was getting soaked in the rain. Idiot! Again, anytime we go to the dog park, Aisha knows about the dog park. We've been here with and without, with a muzzle and without a muzzle. We're not going anywhere near the dog park until everybody's gone potty. I'm just giving Louie time to go get some water. Oh, does that feel better? Thank you. If you ever watch Aisha going to the dog park, we parked here on the corner and I tried to walk her over there and all she wanted to do is she ran right back to the truck. Oh, now look at her. Oh, is that better? Aisha. Thank you. I know you gotta go pool. This is just like if I'm doing a live feed. I should have just done a live feed. I told you how to poo. Everything's all foggy. I'm going to pause this because I got to um, clean off my lens. Feel better? I do. Cleaned off the lens a little bit. Now that truck isn't fuzzy. All right. Clean up her poo, let her go back in. See all the doggies? Come here, Aisha. Step on her leash. Oops. This is not easy when you have one hand holding a phone and the other one holding a poop bag. This is why I would not go to the dog park with more than one dog. Thank you, Aisha. Oh, are you gonna get it? Thank you. All right, let's go get Louie. Here. 
Are you ready to load up? I sure am. Good girl, go. Thank you. Time for Louie. Again, stop. I see him. Let's go. Louie. Thank you, Louie. Louie. Thank you. See how much calmer he gets after his needs are met? Let's go. You hear him? You're being yelled at. Thank you, Louie. This is what overstimulation when you go to a park looks like. Now, if I was to walk somewhere else, take him out for a walk, and then take him over to the dog park, it might be a little different. Thank you, Louie. But this is what a lot of people make mistakes on their dogs. Thank you. Because they're all excited and they think, oh, they must go say hi. Thank you, Louie. But now that he's able to walk it away a little bit, we can walk forward. Thank you, Louie. After your dog's needs are met, they're a lot easier to go to the dog park. At least test to see how the dog park's going to be. When you have a place like this, make sure you look around. Louie, stop. Because there's trails all over this dog park. People can walk in at any time and walk around. Louie. Thank you, Louie. No, oh, you didn't want the cookie. That's going to be bad news. Louie. Left. Left, please. Barely paying attention so we do not go further. Thank you, Louie. Plus, because a lot of dogs go to the dog park. Thank you, Louie. You can turn around and smell all the other stuff. Good job. Now you want to take the cookie. Now he can smell what's going on around him and see. Left. Louie, left. Oh, I got stuck. Do you want to go say hi? It's not happening. Louie, it's gonna rain. Good left. Good boy. Oh, you didn't take the cookie? Let's go potty then. There's a million different things to smell over here. Oh, you're too excited. Let's go left. Good left. Louie. You want to go potty? See that pit bull smile? We're done. Are you ready? Louie. Thank you. See, never having to pull. Thank you, Louie. Checking in. And then he reads, see how, the, so the dog parks to my left. And he's to my right. Thank you, Louie. I want to keep him over here, ideally, but that didn't happen. Thank you, Louie. Stop. Louie, stop. I can drop the leash, grab the leash. Don't have to pull. Ready? Louie, this way. Thank you. Good job. Whoops, I dropped one. Let's go to the car. Oh, crap. Watch where you're walking to. Ready? Good boy. Way away from the dog park. Or he was. Oh, it's a white bull terrier. Good boy, Louie. Come on. Thank you. Let's go load up. Going to a dog park doesn't mean socializing. He can smell, he can see. Louie. Good boy. See, when you communicate what you want and reward behaviors you want repeated, they will know what you're talking about. Get some water, please. You didn't get water last time. So again, take care of your dog's needs. Don't go straight into the dog park. You saw how long it took for him to settle down. When it takes that long to settle down, 
That's bad news. Overstimulation. So just relax. Take him out to areas where he can go to the side of a dog park. Otherwise, if he has to go to the bathroom, he's going <coughs> to, excuse me, bum rush other dogs. Other dogs are going to chase him because he's a new guy. <coughs> he's got high energy. That's a big recipe for dog issues. And then when he settles down, you'll be able to see if he wants to go in or if he wants to hang out by the fence. Some dogs don't always want to go rush in. That's why they attack at the dog park because they don't really want to be there. They know if they attack, you'll take them out. So don't even go in. See if your dog wants to go in. Consent, choice, and whatnot. And then when you want to leave, leave together. Take care of your dog's needs. Let them go potty. Let them go potty. Give them water before you go in. And then when I do go into a dog park, I go straight to the water. Because they're usually overexcited, overstimulated. And then we can relax and then go see the dogs. 30 minute flipping video of dog park behavior. This is Scott with Second and No One Canine Lab Coaching. Have a great day.